Hello from Amr Sports here in Helsinki. So my name is Mark Oranus and I work at the Amr Sports Digital Services uh, where we develop our digital capabilities for the company as a whole. Amr Sports, we are a, a global sports, uh, sporting goods and apparel company and uh, we have multiple brands that uh, we uh, obviously are the manufacturers of and we also uh, are retailers these days and uh, as such we're of course facing the consumer goods market as many many others are. And speaking of the consumer goods market, I mean, as you guys know, the, uh, the consumer goods market, or consumers are changing, their, their purchasing patterns are changing radically, and as such, of course, we as a company have to change our, our behaviors as well. So we've embarked on a journey to understand the consumer better, and uh, the source of that, really, the, the essence is data. So is, as part of a digital uh, transformation program, we are working hard to get data from the consumer from the products um, to figure out how well a product performs, how well it sells, where it's actually being used, and as such, get a better understanding of the marketplace. So we've embarked on a journey over the past 12 months, started pretty much from scratch, to really achieve visibility, transparency, and effectiveness for our business so that we can drive better sales, better product development, and, and really have an impact on the market. So we talk about data analytics in this company of ours and uh, we're working with Solita to achieve some groundbreaking results in terms of just being able to uh, get these products through to the consumer at a faster pace, get better, better uh, product recognition and ultimately better margin. And basically to tell you more about this, let me hand over to Ole Lindrus from Solita. Thank you for Marco for this video and thank you for joining here. Still waiting. My name is Oli Lindrus. I'm working as a data consultant for Solita. And I've been helping Marco for now for over a year to drive data-driven business at Amersports and what we have achieved. Some of you may know Amersports, probably not, but I can promise that each one of you knows some of Amersports' brand, uh, daughter companies. Someone might know Salomon skis or sneakers. You probably have noticed Wilson's tennis rackets. And some of you probably is using Suunta smartwatches. These are the results only in one year. We know the future. We have achieved over 90% prediction accuracy. And we changed the way of working. Nowadays, data drives over 200 new users' way of working at Amazpots. And thanks to high accuracy, prediction accuracy, and successful solution adaption, Amersports have been capable to save millions of euros thanks to our solution. And this is what it required technically. That's it. We needed ERP and CRM. Have heard of this? Maybe you have this? I know you have. The technical solution is that we took data dump from ERP, which is manufactured products, and then we took a data dump from CRM, which means products that has been taken into use. If you know what you have manufactured, and you all know what you have, people have taken into use, ERP minus CRM is inventory. And when you take this to product level, you know for example, how many Suunta watches there is in Italian sports retailer, how many blue clocks they have. And as you can see, the point isn't what we did. The point is how we did it. And I'm going to tell you about that. Traditionally, Amazon's business was to sell products to truck. They loaded products to truck and say bye-bye. 
That's it. But we wanted to change the mindset. What if Amesports could be, instead of B2B business, a B2C business, what it requires? But we didn't know who in earth is, is our customer. And then we thought, how could we know who is our customer? We thought that, okay, Amesports has product registering programs. What about those? And then, like a flash lightning, it came to our mind. It's all on, on our wrist. We have this soon, the smartwatches. These report data directly to internet. And short commercial break. What is soon the smart on? These are multi-sport smartwatches. Right here. It has smartwatches, push notification for mobile phone. This tracks your daily activity. And they are world leading sports tracking clocks. Commercial break end. And where, we, where were we? Okay, we were here at customer. Who, now we know who is our customer because we know we can extract to activity data. We took the data, activity data, and we took the production data, and we did a dashboard in one week. Then we bought some TVs, and we put over 20 screens all around Suunto's campus to factory, to management, to sales, to IT department. We pushed their data about selling, which means how many we have sold to pipeline, sell true, how many clocks people have actually bought, NPS, which is customer sat satisfaction, and goal for all of these. And then we waited. Who reacts first? And bang, sales. Sales contacted us. What is this data? Can I use it? But you, we will probably need to modify it a little bit. We don't understand it. It's too complicated. So we optimized the dashboards for salespeople. We asked, what do you want to see? We took our best developers, designers, and real end users, the salespeople, not sales manager. We took real salespeople to sit the same room, and we let them out after they had first mock-up of the data, how the salespeople wants to see it. The simple, the feedback was simple. Sales wanted to see, they didn't want to spend time on analyzing the data. They wanted to see results. Number one, who should I call to? Number two, when I'm visiting a retailer, I want to see how they are succeeding. And what salespeople do when they have the data? It turned the way of working all around. Instead of saying, buy, buy more, buy even more, nowadays sales is saying, according to your data and similar kind of companies, I suggest that you should buy this kind of clocks. And Second task, if some, they, some retailer was buying clocks, but they weren't able to sell those for some reason, they were able to help those retailers to do better sales. So sales work turned around from salespeople to partnerships. And what partners do? 
partners give feedback. They give, gave feedback to manufacturing processes. You should develop this instead of this. You should uh, produce more black clo clocks. Because one finding out that we found out was that people want to have an, op an option that you can select from should I buy blue clock, should I buy green one, black one, yellow one. And then they always buy the black one. I don't get it. But if there wasn't an uh, option to select, that was bad for sales. That was one interesting finding out. And what sales gave feedback to us? Your dashboards are still way too complex. I don't get it. Please make it simpler. And what we did was that we took the data, we did some predictive analysis, and we labeled the data, we did some categorizations, we added some traffic lights there, that these are the retailers that are succeeding, and these you should help. That's it. So it's needed two tables, call list and who to help. After manufacturing now, the demand, what they should do, and sales know who to help, it means no out-of-stock situation. Sales get better, and customers get what they want to. More sales and happy customers. And what we are doing now? Some of you, usually the first reaction is that, Okay, fancy case, but this doesn't work to other products. That is actually wrong. The IoT trend is on our side. You should probably visit Solita stand, where we have a case where we track even dumbest items, like sneakers. And one other trend that is on our side is brand fans who love quality. For example, Arcturus, which is one of Amazon's brands, are doing so quality jackets that people want that their jacket has ID here and they want it for the they want to register it for them. Yet again, we get the feedback from customers and customers get quality products and what they want to. So our solution covers everything from sneakers to treadmills. And imagine, we started from a company which had tens of millions of revenue, and we start, uh, saved millions of euros. What if we are able to take whole MS Sports brands, all the products, to our solution. Amazports has billions of revenue. And if we do almost as good results as we have the gun now, we save hundreds of millions of euros. I'd call that impactful. And what was our key takeaways? I'm a developer. I know that technology is the easy part. Driving the culture and chasing the way of people, how people do their work, that is the tricky part. But the co-creation is the key. You need motivated developers. You need best-class designers. And you want to take real end users. Co-design, co-create, do something fast. And iterate 
it better. You have to take your solution to real production use as fast as possible to see does it really have effect on business. And one thing, maybe the most important one, is that dare to go traditional over traditional borders. You have to have courage to make impactful things. For example, we did this solution to boost sales, which is core part of their business. Don't do some irrelevant, tiny things. Focus on improving where you are best to make it even better. And what was our ingredients to successful solution was that we had two quality data sources and we combined those ones. We use agile methods and agile development culture to make quick iterations possible. Keep it simple. That's our mantra. And of course, people make it happen. Motivated people is the key to our success. Motivated designers, motivated developers, and early adapted minded sales and supply people. We want to play with people who are willing to change the world and make the world a better place and at sales. And then we use technology stack that supports this kind of scaling. We started from small and now we are serving whole Amazon sales with modern as well cloud technology that is possible. But that's it. If you want to hear more about this case or whatever else Solida is working on, please join us. There is our booth. <laughs>